Hey hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to take a screenshot whenever there is a test case failure. So it is very obvious that whenever you are running your test cases, some of your test cases will fail. This is very obvious. But whenever there is a test case failure, what we generally do? We go and check the logs. Okay, we go and check the console log. So we can debug what is the problem. But apart from these logs, we also sometimes need some extra information that is screenshot because taking a screenshot whenever there is a failure it really helps to understand what is the actual failure okay in much better way so that is the main purpose of our this tutorial so in our previous tutorial we have seen how to take a screenshot normally okay that was not dependent on any kind of test case failure so as you can see this is a piece of code that i have written so you can see this is the chrome driver setup and this is the driver initialization and this is the url i'm using and i have also used a direct test method here okay this is before test this is the setup method this is the particular website okay i'm going to demonstrate this particular uh, example and this is a test a direct test annotation i'm using in test ng so this is one driver.get title to get the title of this particular website and i'm doing some assertion here actual and expected so if i run this code it is going to successfully pass the uh, test case because if you see this is the expected web title so exactly this is the web title so let me run this code it is going to pass the test case okay so if i if i see the result okay this is passed okay as you can see this is passed so but I want to fail the test case and I want to capture the screenshot. So that is the goal of my this particular test case. Okay. So, so that means I want to intentionally fail the test case so that I can get the screenshot. Okay. That I'll implement now. So in order to fail it intentionally, what I'll do is instead of the expected, uh, the correct value, I'll just put some extra value here. Okay. So, the, so that it actually fails the test case. So let me close it for now. So if I run this code, it is going to fail the test case. But whenever there is a failure, I also want to take a screenshot. So for that, I'm going to implement with the help of a new annotation that is at the rate after method. So why I'm using the at the rate after method? I'll explain you about that also. Okay. So here I'll use public void, something like uh, after method itself i can give okay i'm just giving a name you can give any name here okay. so basically what i'm what i'm trying to say here is so this is one particular method okay so this is my method a test case method once this test case is executed this method is executed what i want to perform so that information i have to provide inside the after method particular annotation so let me import this after this test case is executed i want to basically capture the screenshot whenever there is a failure so that's why I am putting this at the rate after method. So now, so I have to implement those lines of code to take the screenshot. Okay. So for that, there is a something new concept that is called I test result. Okay. I test result. What is this I test result? So this is an interface. Okay. Provided by test ng. So this interface basically describes the results of the test. Okay. It, it can store all the information of your particular test. So that is why it is used and apart from that i'm also going to use something called uh, result so this is one uh, kind of parameterization i'm giving i'm giving a variable name so that it can also give me the information about the test result okay so let me import this so as you can see this is coming from test ng itself let me import and here i'm going to write one if condition okay if I test result dot it has so many values available as you can see created failure skip okay so I'm going to go with failure if the I test result dot failure is equal to okay so this one result so this can actually get the information of your test as I said so get status so it has a method that is get status it has so many methods so I'm going to use get status so what does it mean is so if the i test result the test result is equal to fail i mean test result failure is equal to the status if the status is failure if 
failure fail, failure is equal then it is actually going to take the screenshot so that is the condition i am going to put here okay here i am going to provide the particular line of code to take the screenshot okay in my previous tutorial i have already explained how to take the screenshot so that means i am going to use uh, take screenshot okay so this take screenshot is again an interface that uh, implements the driver it has a method get screenshot as okay so that is output type dot file okay and it can be provided in the form of file so file screenshot file okay so this is the line of code to get the screenshot then let me import the file from java.io then we have something called file util class okay, this is from apache common io so you can watch my previous tutorial if you are not familiar with this topic utils.copy file okay source and destination so the source is the same and destination i have to provide the path wherever i want to save my particular screenshot okay so this is my destination path as you can see there is nothing here so i am going to path, provide the path here new file okay so this is the location but i have to also give the name of the file by what name i want to save this particular file name so i can give like uh, failure dot png so you can give any name so let me just handle this input output exception okay so this piece of two lines i have to write if there is a test case failure this is going to execute this particular two lines of code and it will take the screenshot and it will save in the particular location so let me run the code and it will fail the test case and it will basically capture the screenshot and it will save in that particular location okay so as you can see the test case is uh, failed failure is one okay and it is going to provide the screenshot here see this is the screenshot it has captured with the name failure okay because i have given the name here as failure.png so what happened is actually my actual and expected both did not match so it is actually failed the test case as per our tightest result uh, interface it has actually captured the result that is failure and failure is equal to result.get status which is again failed so both are equal so that's why if condition is equal to true so it is going to execute these two lines of code and it is actually taking the screenshot and it is saving in this particular destination folder with the name failure.png because i have given the same name here okay i can also do some modification here as you can see i have used these two lines of code here okay but i don't want to uh, write these two lines of codes for every method every after method condition okay because it is a time consuming thing what i need to do is i will put these two lines of code in a separate class i will be creating one uh, different class okay i can basically after that i can call that particular method from the particular class okay how do i do that so i'll show you that now okay let me go back and i'll be creating one particular class here okay let me create one package here so let me give the package name as util and this is under my src main slash java okay and i'm going to create one class here that is going to be my utility class okay so so what i'll do here is so in here i'm not going to basically write it here i'm going to cut it from here and i'll be providing this to information here so here it is not able to recognize so okay let me create a method so i'll be creating public void take screenshot or maybe i can give taking screenshot okay. let me uh, so as you can see it is not able to recognize the driver so let me use a web driver driver okay so now let me import this particular web driver from selenium and this is my method let me close this and let me handle the exception I can also use try and catch so now what I can do is instead of using here I can simply uh, call this particular method what is the method taking screenshot okay 
let me type utility dot the method name is called not coming because it is uh, not static let me make it static now i will enter dot as you can see the method name is coming up okay taking screenshot so this is the method name okay so here i can provide driver and apart from that i also let's say uh, what i can do is i want to basically take the name of the file also okay what is the name of the file so now i have provided the failure.png that's why you can see that is getting captured in the form of failure.png okay so now i want to do some changes here so let me do one thing i can take the name of the file you can give screenshot name okay so why i'm using this is that i can pass the name of the screenshot here okay so one thing i'll do so now you can see i have given a file directory name but i don't want to put it like that so i want to basically customize this so i'll just remove this particular line okay so i'll put dot slash and screenshots okay. so it means i'm going to create one directory here in the project itself so dot screenshots slash okay so i want to basically give this name so this is a screenshot so i'm going to put it this format okay, and dot png so it means that so whatever screenshot it will capture it is going to save in the form of dot png file okay so now in this screenshot failure method i want to basically provide the name of the file as well that is the result can also give us the name of the particular method okay so result dot get name okay as you can see get name method is here so this is going to save the screenshot by the method name what is the method name here verify web title i can show you so it is running the code so this is going to fail the test case now and it will basically save the screenshot by that particular method name so now let us see that so as you can see test case is failed now let me refresh this particular project and you can see this is getting created because i have uh, provided here dot slash screenshot okay and inside this it is going to create a screenshot with the extension dot png but with the method name because i have used result dot get name so let me expand this as you can see verify web title dot png is getting captured here okay so now let me open this as you can see this is getting captured okay inside this particular directory so let me show you this uh, same example with another website so that you can relate it much better way so for that i have a url headspace.com slash login okay so let me replace it and i'll comment out this uh, three lines because these are not applicable in this case because this is going to be one particular website with uh, text fields okay so this is that website i'll show you what is the website so this is the website so here here i'm going to locate this but i'll intentionally provide a wrong uh, id okay so let us see what happens so now i will uh, do one thing driver dot find element by dot id so what is this id let me inspect this id the id is here id is equal to email correct email is the id for this particular email address field but i'll not provide email here i'll provide something like email emails okay and i'll provide send keys and i'll provide something like hi hello at the date uh, gmail.com something like i'm using so now it will not be able to locate this particular uh, element so it will fail that test case and it will take the screenshot of that particular web page so let me give verify login page i can give and let me run the code so it is going to launch the different url now headspace.com slash login and it will not be able to locate this particular uh, email field because i have not used the proper id proper locator i am not using so as you can see this test case is failed why it is failed as you can see no such element unable to locate okay this particular locator okay so now let us refresh this particular folder as you can see this is basically capturing the new screenshot by the name verify login page because i have used the method name is login page 
okay so this is result dot get name so capturing the method name so now let me open this see this is getting captured so this is the screenshot okay so i can also show you uh, this particular screenshot from my proper directory so let me go inside okay so these are those two screenshots which got captured because of the failure in the test case so this is the one and this is the this is the other one okay so this is how we can capture a screenshot whenever there is a failure in the test case and this really helps because whenever there is a failure we really need to understand where the exactly the failure is happening so the console log always helps i mean the test ng logs always helps but also the screenshot if we have it really helps in a much better way so how we have captured a screenshot because we have used i test result okay it is an interface given by the test ng itself and it can actually capture the status of your test so it means if your test is failing it will capture the status and based on that we can use our utility that is uh, for taking the screenshot okay we can use so these uh, two lines of code we have uh, seen in our previous class so these two lines of the code can uh, take the screenshot and save the screenshot in a particular location you can provide the location i believe you have understood this topic uh, the its result topic i mean how to take the screenshot whenever there is a failure so i would recommend you to uh, keep practicing so that's all for today's uh, tutorial if you have liked the video please hit the like button and if you are new to my channel please uh, subscribe to my channel i'll come up with a new topic thank you thanks for watching